consumer right is sacrosanct. And to speak more on the crash of dollar rate and the effect it has on, you know, prices of commodity, we have joining us via Zoom, Mr. Johnson Chuku, uh, financial analyst. Thank you very much for joining us, Mr. Chuku. Thank you for having me. Good day. Good day to you. Now, on the exchange of the dollar to Naira, we're seeing it drop from 180 to almost um, 120. But the prices of goods are not changing. What would you say is responsible for this? Okay, once again, um, thank you for having me. The uh, best thing that has happened is that we've seen dollar at some point, it actually got us 1,900. And uh, we're now talking of dollar rate about 1,100. And we have not seen that adjustment in prices because the way traders work is that many of them had actually bought stocks. Uh, they, are, they are holding their current stock at uh, exchange rates of maybe 1,500, 1,600, 1,700, maybe 1,800. So for them to sell at the current uh, lower exchange rate, uh, it means that they will have to lock in losses. And they will not want to lock in losses until imports that are, uh, we are placed or imported at the current exchange rate begin to compete with them. And let me explain it further. The best we place order for, let's assume a television set at an exchange rate of 1,900 naira, 1,800 naira. And maybe that uh, um, unit of um, television was costing $1,000. So at 1,900, the person uh, bought it for 1.8 million naira. So it landed to him at 1.8 million naira. Today, dollar is 1,100. So if you have to import that television, you have to import that 1.1 1, 1. 1 million instead of 1.8 million or 1.9 million. So, but the person who imported at 1.9 million will not want to bring down his price to 1.1 million naira until some other person imports at 1.1 million naira and is selling at 1.1 million naira. So that person will not know he has no choice. So in the, at the meantime, he will want to hold back, hoping that to minimize his loss and don't, wouldn't want to drop price. But when new imports, when stocks are replenished at lower arrival cost or landing cost, then those who are holding old stock, we have no choice than to sell at the new uh, arrival cost or the new landing cost. So that's what is happening. So you want to call it lag effect. It takes some time for policies, policy changes of this nature to have reflect in prices uh, at the shop floor. Um, sure, from what you're saying, um, old stock must be cleared, you know, before the new price um, can be reflected. But we're seeing MBS not, say that sorry, food... Sorry, not, in, sorry. Okay, sorry, let me go ahead. Not that old prices must be cleared. What okay. I'm saying is that new products must be imported at new exchange rates. So it is when those new products arrive that those who are holding old stock will now want to sell uh, because they can no longer hold on hoping that prices they can sell at the old prices, the uh, old cost they arrived at. Mr. Chuku, who would determine that? We've seen MBS say that um, um, food inflation rate jumps to 35.41%. Uh, what do you think, you know, regulatory authorities need to do to ensure that these prices are controlled? Because I wouldn't know if that is the old stock, what you bought from what you're breaking down for us, that's the price. You get what I'm saying? Yes, I get what you're saying. Unfortunately, the reality is that the uh, Consumer uh, 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 Protection Agency has minimal role to play in this. It's a market force that will determine that. If they want to enforce it, they really can't enforce it because what the people will do is lock up their shops. And if they do that with the great official uh, scarcity that will delay further the time it will take for those prices to adjust downwards. If you took look at the issue of um, full price index, uh, uh, the, the major problem we, we have is, one, we're not producing enough food because of insecurity in the major food base of the country. Because if you look at the food uh, basket of the country, most of the items that are contained there are food items that are produced locally. You're talking about grains, cereals. The only major thing that is important is wheat. Other two bars are produced locally. But because we have insecurity, that's why we're dealing with high rate of food inflation. But other food items that are imported, their price will begin to adjust when new orders are placed and those new orders arrive, it will take maybe maybe 60 days, maybe 40 days, or maybe 45 to 60 days for new imports to come, clear that the seaports and get to this uh, to the warehouses or the, the shop floors. Once new, new, new imports begin to arrive the shop floors, prices will moderate downwards and be and reflect the current exchange rates. 
Mr. Chuku, if I get you clearly, you're saying we should give it time before these adjustments can be done. But usually we see that when the dollar rate increases, you know, it started from 1,000 before we saw it just, you know, went up and the narrow plunged. Um, they don't usually wait, you know, for the import to happen before they adjust prices. They just go, you know, with the adjustments. You know, the truth is that uh, business people are not, uh, their, their primary objective is not uh, nationalistic or they are not uh, social service providers. They are looking for profit optimization and maximization. Well, this is basically what will happen is that when Asian yen was depreciating on a daily basis, uh, traders were repricing their goods based on the replacement cost. Because the logic of what they were doing is this. I'm not... Uh, advocating for them, but the logical way they're doing, which was my job is to explain what they were doing, is that they, you co they come today and look, they realize that exchange had moved from 1,400 to 1,500. They say, if I sell at 1,400, which is what I, I bought at, I can't buy back the same quantity of goods. I can't import the same quantity of goods. So what they would do, they reprice based on what price they would replace the stock. And that's why we saw prices changing on almost on daily basis or hourly basis at the point when Naira was very unstable. But now the reverse is the case. They are now trying to avoid losses and they are holding back selling at the new exchange rate because they are looking at what was their landing cost at which they bought. But when the reverse was the case, their logic was I had to sell at the price that I can replace the same stock of goods uh, based on the new exchange rate. And that's why they were repricing. But like I said, unfortunately, businesses are not driven by nationalistic or, or, or public it's not i would say public interest a uh, goodwill or uh, social interest yeah the social interest is the right word to use they are not driven by social interest they are driven by profit maximization uh which is why every country must make sure you don't have an oligo oligopolistic market or a monopolistic market where one person determines prices once you have a free market like we have today in the short term prices will adjust to reflect the learning cost of goods that are produced or imported into the country. Indeed, Mr. Chiku, let's just hope those in authority do the needful because the consumer right is sacrosanct, like I said earlier.